Internal Tables and Work Areas Overview Internal Table is a temporary two-dimensional memory structure similar to Database Table. The data is stored line by line in memory, and each line has the same structure. In a BAP, internal tables fulfill the function of arrays. Since they are dynamic data objects, they save the programmer the task of dynamic memory management in his or her programs. A particularly important use for internal tables is for storing and formatting data from a database table within a program. Internal tables are dynamic variable data objects. Like all other data objects, you can declare internal tables using the like or type addition of the data statement. For example, you write data, the name of your internal table, in this case ITAB, type table of, and then you specify a type, or you can use like table of and in this case you specify an object or another table. Here the like addition refers to an existing table object in the same program. Working areas. A work area is a variable declared with the type of an internal table or a database table. You declare a work area to work with your internal table. It can store only one record at a time. It is like a structured declaration in C. The work area is used with the loop path clause to process the contents of an internal table line by line. We have an internal table declaration. We declare data local table or LT underscore as flight type table of and we specify a database table, in this case the S flight database table tra or transparent table. So we just make a copy of the database table into an internal table and then we declare a work area. In this, in this case we can declare it by using data wa for work area underscore s flag type the same type of the transfer table or we can also declare it using the like line of and we specify the our local internal table so this will declare a structure like the same type of this internal table and the internal table is a structure you can work one record at a time for the internal table using the loop at a BAP statement. So you loop at your internal table into your working area and you process each record line by line as you need to. Now let's practice uh, in the inside the system declaring an, inter an internal table and using it in a program. So let's navigate to the object navigator and let's create a local object. We click enter and let's create a new program.
let's call it C internal table basics and we uncheck this okay and the title is practicing with internal tables and working areas and let's save it as a local object so basically let's declare an internal table so as we did before in a previous example we use data local table airlines type table of a transparent table we're going to use the SCAR transparent table and that table stores all the airlines so now we're going to declare a working area wa underscore airlines type SCAR so we have our internal table and we have our work area so now let's put some data into our internal table so let's use a select all the fields from the SCAR table into I'm going to use corresponding fields off just to make sure it matches the same types and the same fields it is a good uh, programming practice to always use into corresponding fields off so of my internal table and I, I'm not gonna specify the where statement because I want all the content from this transparent table so I select all the content into my local transparent internal table sorry so now if I want to print all that content to the screen I use a loop at my transparent table I'm sorry my internal table into my working area so I'll, now I process one record at a time or line by line so I'm going to print a new line and then I'm going to write my car ID I selected I write the name of my working area dash and then the system displays all the fields of this structure so I'm going to just choose the car name now and I'm going to display also the current code that is the local currency code so I declared an internal table, I'll declare a work area, I select everything from a transparent table into my internal table and then I loop at my internal table into my working area to print the car ID, the car name and the current code to the screen. So let's check the syntax of our program. So the error say you cannot use an internal table as a work area so I double click to see where the error is and I forgot to place the table above statement if I don't place it then the system thinks this is a work area not a table but so I have to specify the table addition so it fills the contents to my internal table so now I check one more time 
now everything is okay and now I activate my program and I run to check the results as you can see all the airlines are printed to the screen the code the name of the airline and their currency